So this quote came up again this past week from Yogi Berra. You can't think and hit the ball the same time. You know, being an instructor for 25 years now and being a researcher and a teacher at heart, it really drives me crazy when to hear this quote. The reason why this quote bothers me so much, you can't think and hit the ball at the same time, is because people who are usually saying it are the ones that we watch on TV. They are brilliant people. They're brilliant hitters. Let me give you an example of brilliance that's outside of our baseball and softball communities. Suppose we went to MIT and the brilliant people there who knew math so well, you gave them this question. What is 746 multiplied by 647? And maybe someone there, without giving it extra thought, says 482,662. And it only took that person, that brilliant person, a split second to come up with the answer. And you respond, how did you do that? And they said, I don't know. I just do it. I don't think. You see, this is what brilliant people can do. Sometimes people have a knack for doing things well, and they just don't understand why. Maybe because they're just born certain ways that they have this instinct. Or maybe the instinct was developed over years, you know, in their conscious minds where they thought patterns out. And over time, because they were so conscious about things, it became the subconscious where they didn't need to think and it just happened. And this is where we have brilliant hitters who just tell us, I don't know, I don't think, I just do it. You see, I'm from the school where you can take an average person and train them and develop them and have them exercise what is really necessary to make them brilliant. And part of the way, the process to doing that, to make them brilliant, is to have them think upon what is extremely valuable in making the action brilliant. So that's why when I hear the quote, just go up the home plate, don't think, just do it, I know for most of us that they don't understand the true processes, how to, how to configure, how to adjust your settings to manage the ball like the brilliant hitters already know how to do. Once our hitters understand the internal parts of what's really going on and they think about it and train it and exercise it, then they too can become brilliant. I've learned through decades of research that what really makes brilliant hitters extremely better than everybody else isn't the common things that we always look at, the mechanics. It's the small, fine details of timing. You know, it's kind of funny that in this world of track man and stat cast and bat speed, we don't hear this quote often by uh, Yogi Berra which is this, you don't have to swing hard to hit a home run. If you got the timing, it'll go. I strongly recommend, if you're interested in learning more about the deeper details of timing, then go get the best hitting drill ever video series. It's a great place to start learning more details of what timing is. If you're extremely serious about learning about timing, the next video series I have is the world's greatest hitting formula. I go over almost five hours of detailed instruction of explaining the deeper parts of what timing is in a game and while you're standing at home plate in the batter's box. There is a deeper pocket of information that I have been researching over the years and I've stored on my shelves a little bit of information here and a little bit there that I've merged together to what I really believe, and I'm so excited about this, what I believe is the strong, the strongest golden nuggets there is to hitting. And I, I really feel that we've hit a jackpot when it comes to you know hitting training and progressive advanced research when it comes to hitting. I'm only this this isn't online yet on a world's greatest hitting formula video series. But I am, I am presenting it 
on tour at the select cities that I'm visiting. If you have a desire to play baseball beyond the high school level, into college, and in endeavor into professional baseball, get to one of these visiting cities I'm coming to. You'll be blessed by the information. It will it'll have such a strong impact and it's usable information that does not theoretically you know, explain in a laboratory, but it's usable information you can take with you in the batter's box while you're standing there looking at the picture. Your playing clock is ticking. Let's get moving on this. Now, I'm Dave Kirloff, languageofhitting.com. Oh!